as we continue our week talking about how God helps and comforts us. Today I want to share with you some words from Isaiah chapter 61 about God's deliverance and help. Isaiah says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the broken-hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. Well, this passage from Isaiah is very significant, and it's significant because when Jesus is at his home synagogue in Nazareth, and he's there for worship, and we hear about this in Luke chapter 4, They hand him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah, and he could have turned to any passage in Isaiah, and Jesus turned to this one, and he read it, and he read it well, and everyone listened to him. And then he said to them, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. And that's when people began to be offended by what Jesus was saying. It was one thing for him to declare that what Isaiah had said about good news for the oppressed and bind up the brokenhearted and release to the captives and how it was a time to erase all debts and for people to begin anew and for God to comfort those who mourn and to turn mourning into gladness and ashes into a garland. And, but for Jesus to say this in his hometown, to people who knew him, and basically they dismissed him. And they said, isn't this Joseph's son? And and Jesus tells them two quick stories from their own Bible about how in a time of famine, who was the person who was fed? Syrophoenician woman, not anyone in Israel. And when there was lots of leprosy, who was cleansed? Naaman, a Syrian army general. And they take Jesus and they want to kill him because he disrupts their routine. You know, sometimes when we go to worship, we go often like the people in Jesus' home synagogue to hear confirmation of what we already think or believe. And when the Spirit of God moves and speaks in a disruptive way, we can find that very challenging as well. I pray that the Spirit of God would continue to move and speak to you this day. And if you need comfort, that the Spirit of God would provide it.